up loves it's your girl april so today's video is going to be one of those 360 lace frontals now y'all know that i made two so far the first one i was like not so happy about you know a girl was like mm, not feeling this i had to rig that daggone wig up like i was macgyver or some type of um inspector gadget okay and it still was not fitting properly okay yes so the second one that i made i was so happy like amazed like amazed 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 it fit like it was factory made okay meaning it fit proper and i was like you know what tongue smack so girl does the tongue smack thing if i'm gonna make another 360 it's got to have the combs and the adjustable strap already in the nape that's the only way i'm making a 360 okay seriously and that goes for me reviews and anybody else so with that being said, now I already did a video for this company, um, I think once or twice. However, I got another video for you guys right here, which is a 360. Now they only had sent me two bundles. It was, um, oh my God, I think it was, let's see here. So they sent me two bundles and the frontal, an 18 inch, a 16 inch, bundle those are both the bundles only two and a 14 inch um frontal so let me tell you i was like okay well i'm gonna just be positive about this they got a they got a um an adjustable strap at the nape so i'm gonna be positive about this okay so the two bundles actually was enough <sighs> funny thing it was actually enough so that was a plus for me it had the combs in it like i had wanted the comb in the back and also a girl sewed on an elastic band so that this hair looks so daggone wavy right so it's actually indian remy virgin indian hair but it's brazil um excuse me virgin indian hair but it's a body wave it did not look wavy like this when I was making a wig. It did not at all. What's so crazy about it is this daggone wig or this hair is more wavier than some loose wave hair that I got from other vendors, okay? And this is just body wave. So I'm saying. So what I was going to do a little bit different, I wanted to do the tape method. They look like this. This is the tape. It's tape on both sides. I'm going to just take my scissors and like thin it down. Now, onto the video, okay? So, I washed the wig, I hung it upside down to dry, and this is how the waves came out. Now, I was happy about that because I didn't really feel like styling anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really did not feel like styling it. Sometimes it just does a lot to me. But we're gonna see how this works out, and this is OMG Her Hair. So let's do this, you guys. I know that it's late, but baby, I'm up and I'm thinking about you. About you, get you on the line and see if it's okay if I could come through, could come through. Feeling kind of lonely, I think I'm needing a dose of my blood, of my blood. Just at the studio, I can be there in ten minutes. That cool, is that cool? Been craving your love and your body all night. You, but I need your time. tape on the forehead area I didn't use it on the sides because my hair was kind of out and I really didn't want it on my hair you have to be really careful with the tape because it can 
actually remove your hair. You don't want that. Which is always best to make sure that that area where you're going to place the tape at is clean. So get yourself like an alcohol pad or some makeup remover and clean that area and allow it to dry before applying any type of tape. So now I'm so happy because listen... This bad boy is sitting pretty and nice and tight, and that is one thing that I'm very happy about. I probably didn't even need the elastic in this because it's very snug to my head, which is a good thing. Um, it does have the adjustable straps in the wig. Now, this is a pre-plucked lace frontal, 360 frontal. Um, I did tweeze some of the hairs last night on it already um, once I washed it. It does say it's pre-plucked. Now, me personally... I have done my share of tweezing the heck out of some hair and over tweezing it. So I get really nervous when it comes to tweezing because I don't want to overdo it. So I did tweeze the front and thin it out as much as I could without overdoing it. Could it have been it. tweezed a little bit more? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I thinned it out as much as possible in the front so that way it could look a little bit um, natural, uh, natural as possible, um, but it is a pre-plucked hairline but the fact that the hair is so wavy after washing it is like amazing because I really did not feel like doing anything when I say I didn't feel like doing anything I really did not feel like doing anything to this unit okay so I'm glad that this body wave is more or less wavy says a lot about the hair company in general because you get some body wave here that stuff be looking like it's straight and then you get some loose wave here and you be thinking that that's straight too but this body wave is so wavy i love a non-maintenance hair non-maintenance wig whatever when well, you ain't got to do too much yes bring it on okay. happy with the turnout on this one especially because it fits so good all right and so right like yes hunties mm. i may not do a whole bunch of six 360s, but I'm not going to say they're my favorites, but once you get the gist of them and you figure out how to maneuver them and make them work right, you are on your way to just doing it properly. But other than that, yes. Check out OMG Her Hair. Oh my gosh, herhair.com. I'll post their information for you guys below. And on that note, stay diva and divolicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this one right here. And I will see you guys soon. I love you. Hey. Let me see you hiding in the air. Hey.